Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I will be showing you how to lower your ping and possibly get zero ping, as stated in the title. Having low ping in Fortnite is crucial, especially in gunfights or build battles. Trust me, I have experienced some pretty bad ping, over a thousand. And when trying to place walls or ramps, nothing happens, and instead I get locked in AFK and die. So I know how frustrating lag or high ping can be. Guys, make sure to stick around for the entire video, as there are some key steps in between and skipping ahead will make you miss out on these key steps and you won't get a lower ping boost. So make sure you watch the entire video carefully as some steps can be quite confusing. And guys, if this video helps you in any way, please drop a like and subscribe as it will show you support and motivate me to make more helpful videos. Don't forget to comment that it worked for you as well. And if none of this works for you, which I highly doubt, you can join my discord and ask for help where a member of my team will help within minutes. But with that out of the way, Let's get started. Before we even get onto the steps, I highly recommend you use the ethernet cable. This will pretty much half your ping instantly and the dirt cheap. There are some pretty decent cables that are 10 meters long and still cheap. You can even find 50 meter ethernet cables. If you really can't use ethernet cables for your router, then at least get an ethernet adapter. This sticks into any socket in your house and connects to your router. You can plug your ethernet into this and get almost the same results. But enough of that. So first we have the in-game settings. Over here, we can't really change much, however, this has potential of giving you insane amounts of lag and high ping, so make your way to the settings and into in-game tab. Most of you will have this on auto, but I highly suggest you change it to the nearest data center. The reason why it shouldn't be on auto is because sometimes you could connect to a data center with much higher ping randomly. Also, having it on auto can cause some instability in packets, which is why you may experience lag spikes at times. To find the closest data center for the lowest ping, look at the right hand side at this list. In this list, there is a list of multiple data centers. Choose the data center with the lowest ping, in my case Europe, as it has the lowest ping. One major tip whenever you start a new session, so after you're changing your matchmaking region, is to restart your game. This just corrects the packet flow as you just change the data center. It's not a huge difference, but I dropped from around 44 ping to 36. For the next step, if you haven't already, Download SG TCP Optimizer. I'll leave a link down in the description for you guys. This program is necessary for low pings and possible zero at times. So once you're here, download and open it. Once open, these settings can be quite daunting. But don't worry, it's not that bad as it looks. If you follow exactly as what I do, then you will get this done in no time. Here is the timestamp to the start of this step, in case you need to go back. Before we start, make sure you're in the General Settings tab. At the bottom where it says Choose Settings, change whatever it's on to optimal and then to custom. I'll repeat that again, change it to optimal first and then custom. Next, you see the slide over here? This is the connection speed slider, so obviously move this to the max. It doesn't matter what your connection speed is, but changing this to the max will give you a great boost. Next, on the network adapter selection, choose this option that I have. For you it might be slightly different but that's okay as long as the option is generally about the same. Make sure your MTU is at 1500, not higher or lower. 1500 is a sweet spot. Put a TCP window auto tuning on normal. Windows scaling on disabled, congestion control provider from cubic to CTCP. And keep the last one enabled. On the right hand side, put everything on disabled except for checksum offloading. Remember, you must keep checksum offloading enabled only, otherwise you will get a bunch of lag spikes. For the second part of this step, make sure you're in Advanced Settings tab. Under an Internet Explorer Optimization, keep both values on 10. Under the Host Resolution Priority, put Local Priority on 4, Host Priority on 5, DNS Priority on 6, and Net BT Priority on 7. So in the order, 4, 5, 6, 7. Easy to remember, but that's just the way it is. Under the Retransmission tab, change the first box to 2, and keep the other one disabled. For Retransmit Timeout, keep Initial on 2000, and minimum on 300. For type or quality of service, keep the top box blank, but change the second one to optimal one, as shown. Under gaming tweak, put network on disabled, system on gaming zero. For frequency, put a disabled one. For delay, put enabled one, and for ticks, put a disabled zero. Under network memory allocation, keep the first box on default zero, and change the second one to default one. Hit apply changes, and this ends the complicated segment. And trust me guys, this will not destroy your PC. If it won't harm your PC in any way, then why would I be doing it to my own? If you got this far, consider subscribing. It's free and your support will much be appreciated by the mobs community. For the next step, search Windows Update Deliver. 
At first, it may not appear, but once you type more of the word, it will eventually pop up. Make sure this setting, allow download from other PCs, is checked off. So while you're playing Fortnite, Windows might just randomly start updating, and this will completely destroy your ping and give you insane amount of lag spikes. So turning this setting off is highly recommended. The next thing you want to do is go to advanced options and change absolute bandwidth to percentage. Check mark both boxes and move the sliders to the lowest possible. And repeat the exact same thing for upload settings. So check both boxes and move the slider to the bare minimum. There's no saving required here so you can just close the tab. This step is optional. But what I recommend is getting some sort of antivirus software. If you guys didn't know, some viruses use your PCs as a portal and this will pretty much use all your internet, leaving behind a laggy Fortnite match. But anyways, that wraps it up for this video. Guys, a lot of effort was put into this video, so please show some support by subscribing. And like the video if it worked for you. Stay posted for an ultimate guide in improving download speeds. But anyways, stay tuned.